Well, thank you very much, kind sir. There's a lioness, there's the other girl that we couldn't really see, and guess what? I was wrong about what these lions were eating. <sighs> Can you believe it? I am terribly sorry. I fed you false information. I took a gamble, but here we go. You can see the tusk. It was a warthog that they killed. Now, we're sitting on a couple of sort of... Um, well, I said we were on an island. We really are on an island. We even have a moat around us. It's quite nice. No crocodiles, though, protecting us, but disappointing. Or hippos, you know, like Pablo Escobar. Can we show them the moat, Darby? Actually, just because it's quite cool. How great is this? I would build my house here. If I could build a house, this is where I would build one. It goes all the way down and around this island. It's beautiful. We were lucky to sneak across it. They dropped the drawbridge for us. They didn't. They did not do that. I don't. Sorry, sorry, everyone. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm a little bit silly, but. That's pretty cool that they caught this warthog. So I actually think that there must have been, I don't know if it's a male or female, it's sort of hard to tell, but I do see a pair of warts quite close to the tusks. And to me, that would mean that it's perhaps a boar. And those quite robust big tusks. So so maybe it is a, a, a lovely male. Well, he was lovely. The lions are now eating him. And I'm sure that they think that he's quite lovely and tasty too. And I think he was living around here. There's definitely lots and lots of holes holes in the sides of termite mounds and in the sides of the embankments. And we know that's where warthogs like to live. So perhaps he got caught off guard. He was walking through here. Or maybe he was just resting here. Maybe he got up late, decided to come out of his burrow, and then whoops, lions got him. But they've eaten most of it. Uh, they've already devoured the the rump and they've already moved up towards the shoulders and then it's really just the neck and then that's it. So I think that they will be finished this carcass in the next two hours. I don't think there will be very much left here besides scraps and I'm hoping um, and that the lionesses, of course, do go out and catch something again, but it should be quite entertaining. These little ones should play with the bits and pieces of the warthog. I was listening to that question very, very carefully. And it's from Philip, and it's uh, asking about an old wives' tale. And, and that is, I've heard the reason why males don't hunt is because their manes are too big. So, no, it's not a wives' tale at all. I don't know why I said that. That's exactly one of the reasons why that inhibits a, a male lion from hunting. However, in an area like this, the, the grass is quite tall. There are shrubs darted um, all over the open areas. There's also some trees. So, and we see male lions on their own all the time they've got to eat they're not necessarily with the prides all the time so they're ca capable of hunting i reckon if you were to go into the desert like namibia it must become quite difficult for fully grown males to hunt especially in those sort of arid areas uh, however out here it's not too bad at all look at that dirty face look at that you can see that warthog is almost finished and they don't even have massive babies just yet. Well, not this lot. But we'll sit here and we'll watch them as they eat their bacon. Steph is the king of lions. He's found himself another big male.